Good morning and a beautiful day to you. Isn't it gorgeous today? Now today we are exploring the beaches of South Goa. Now this is Kola Beach, one of South Goa's most hidden beaches. Kola Beach is surrounded by hills on both sides and shrouded by palm trees and paddy fields. Now Kola Beach is much quieter than most along this entire stretch of coast. There is two sections of beach. This section here, which is only about 800 meters long and is dotted with these red lava rocks and amongst this beautiful sand. And to the north section over there, now this is the north section, and to the south, there's a smaller, more intimate bay, which you have to climb over a hill to, especially at high tide, which is only about 150 meters. So it's often called South Kola and North Kola. North Kola being the big, big main beach. A small river also flows into the beach um, form, forming a lagoon which you can swim in which is really nice there's no waves in there so it's great for kids because the beach here itself isn't good for swimming it's a wonderful beach for peace and quiet for sitting on the beach and relaxing along the beach is beautiful but the rocks and the heavy surf coming in don't make it great for swimming but you can swim in the freshwater lagoon Kola Beach in general is not very developed, giving a lovely intimate feel. There is a couple of places to stay with these beautiful chalets overlooking the sea, which will then look straight into the sunset. And there is also, uh, the lodges are the only places to eat as well. I think there's only two or three places to stay and eat along this whole stretch of beach. It does make Kola Beach perfect for a more peaceful beach day. Let me show you a little more. Now, if you want one beach in South Goa that offers you everything, this is it. Halalum Beach, the most famous and most popular beach in South Goa. Halalum Beach is considered one of the most beaches of the whole of the Goa coast. It's a one and a half mile stretch of gently curving beach with soft sand bordered with tall palm trees sheltered by hills at either end it really is an idyllic location the water just off the beach is shallow for quite a way out so it's great for enjoying the warm arabian sea with very little waves lining the beach are lots of cafes bars restaurants and places to stay as well as activity centers where you can rent kayaks or go for boat trips or get um, trips down the river even that goes behind and behind this is another row of shops offering further accommodation, bars, currency exchange and all sorts of things so you really can get everything you need right here.
and this is Agonda Beach a beautiful two kilometer stretch of wide golden sands located between Kola Beach and Palawan Beach. It is one of this coastline's much quieter beaches but it still offers everything. It's a great place for chilling without any hassle and sunbathing and walking along the beach or having a quiet drink. The swimming here isn't so great. The water can get a bit choppy so caution if you go swimming. Um, Lined along this side of the beach, there is lots of bars, cafes and a few places to stay so you can get something to eat quite easily. There is boat trips both to go and see the dolphins and the islands available here and you can even do a little river trip that goes inland up a little tributary to see the birds which is particularly good in the morning I'm told. Um, located just behind the beach, running parallel is the beach road which you can't see from here. But if you go there, it's just a walk through there, it is lined with so many more places to stay, more cafes, restaurants, bars. So there is a lot here and it doesn't intrude too much onto this beautiful wide beach. So I'd say Agonda Beach is a good choice if you want somewhere peace and quiet, no hassle, no crowds, but still want your facilities like to get a drink or a massage or a meal you know, with just a short walk across this beautiful sand. But it is a beautiful beach and there is not many people here. Let me show you some more of what it looks like. Now, this final beach is the most southerly on our list and is a secret alternative to Palalam Beach. Welcome to Patnam Beach. It is only three kilometers south from Palalam but offers all the same facilities at a smaller, quieter and cheaper scale. And if you want anything busier, Palalam is only a short rickshaw ride away. Patnam is a nice beach stretching 900 meters between two rocky headlands lined with nice palm trees under which nestle various restaurants, cafes, bars and pubs. Many places also have sunbeds that you can sit out and enjoy uh, lining the beach so it's very easy to relax a day or a week or longer here. 